people just don't believe that the current system of capitalism is working for ordinary citizens. Is the fact that we now live in a very interconnected world. The problem in one part of the globe affects everybody else. It's about the health of planet Earth. Frankly, it's about, in particular, climate change. First is making the best of AI and robotics. The other is making the best of an older workforce who's ageing in a better way than the past. We are rate are very low right now, and some governments are actually paid to borrow. Instead of just looking at uh, risk uh, in the narrow context of a single company, it's important to assess the broader risk and the impact on the company. I think businesses can prepare for these challenges by having a clear sense of what their purpose is. How will purpose infiltrate and permeate through daily decisions and lead to you doing something different from a company which is purely focused on profit? So technology and longevity, exploiting the two of them, that's what's going to be key for productivity growth. For the government, it would be the right time to invest in long-term research and development, fundamental research, also applied research. Stay liquid. Cut your leverage. Cut your currency exposure. Hedge insofar as you can. And don't panic. That could cause the next crisis. There's quite a few businesses that if they can withstand a recession, they are actually a lean operation. They're actually well equipped to face some of the longer term opportunities. But of course, businesses must ensure they're ready to deal with the risks in the rest of 2019.